Hey everybody, so how y'all doing? I want to tell y'all this story, and this is the most freakiest story I ever heard. If you are against this type of stuff, then you you don't have to watch this video. Viewer discretion is advised. Anyway, so a couple of days ago, I was experiencing some type of spiritual form of an entity, right? I was um sitting here watching a video on youtube and i started to hear a lot of footprints up above me because y'all know i have a neighbor so i kept hearing these heavy footprints every single day for the last two or three weeks right and it, it kept getting heavier and heavier it was super light at first so i thought it was a bunch of kids in my mind i'm thinking okay there's a family live above me so don't pay no mind so i turned up the volume on my tv and then i was turning up like and then i was watching youtube at the same time yeah crazy me i watch tv and videos on youtube at the same time so the the louder my video was the louder the footsteps was and i had to bang on the ceiling with my broom to let them know hey lower your your noise and they stopped and then an hour later the footprint started happening again the foot stomping and everything so it was starting to annoy me to the point i had to call security security went up there they said they didn't hear nothing so about a couple of days later it's a weekend right now like saturday sunday two days in a row i was hearing footsteps again stomping once again it sounded like a bunch of people stump like running up there so i called the security again the security guard was like okay we're gonna go up there they heard it they was like yo we didn't hear nobody but a woman talking so a couple weeks later last week i started talking to somebody on at the security um office so i was explaining to her how it keeps me up all night and in the morning i'm waking up at seven in the morning i'm hearing like stomping again and then this time it sounds like somebody's dragging the furniture so i'm thinking i'm losing my mind because i'm like what is going on upstairs and how many people is living upstairs because y'all got some heavy ass feet and i don't know how many of you experience this but it's like every single day and night i'm hearing people upstairs dragging furniture stomping playing basketball whatever the case is i'm thinking there's a whole family up there so this the head of security guard finally came to me this week and we finally spoke and i was telling him that i could not concentrate or even you know let alone get some sleep i'm up to three in the morning so he was like, okay i'm gonna make sure everything is fine i'm gonna go up there i'm gonna investigate so he goes up there, knocks on the door. He said that it was an old lady that lives up there and there's nobody younger than her that lives up there with her. She lives alone. And but I'm like, so who is banging upstairs? Like who's making all this noise? So he was like, well, I'm going to check the staircase. It, it's probably because of the staircase. You probably hear people running up and down on the staircase. So he said that he was going to start checking to see who was around here. He went on my floor, he went through the staircase, and he went upstairs above me, which is on the fourth floor. Nobody. He said there's nobody in the hallway, nobody in the staircase. Not There's not one person not even sitting on the staircase. So he was like, maybe it's the people who's upstairs in the staircase, probably stomping, and you probably heard it coming from above, thinking it's above you. No, it's not. It made no sense whatsoever. How can steps in the... How can somebody that's in the staircase could be above me? I don't have staircases above me. There's a neighbor live above me that's a one floor apartment. And now it made no sense. He tried to make me feel like I was delusional. I was like, mister, how much you want to bet there's somebody that's up there? Because people act like there's no such thing as a family member hiding a family member in the house. So that way they won't have to be detected or known that anybody is living up there. People every day hide in closets or underneath the bed just to prevent their family members from getting in trouble for having somebody in the house. Now, it's not illegal to have anybody in your house and to be with you, but it is illegal. Well, it's against their rules and it's illegal to have somebody live up there with you that's not on a lease. So he was he said, I'm going to check up there every day until I find this person. So little did he know. I went up there two days ago to see what was the stumping is about because I wanted to knock on her door to see if this woman has any kids. So I go upstairs to her apartment and I'm listening on her through her door and there was a man talking on the phone. Like you could hear somebody, you could hear a man talking and he was talking loud and he sounded Spanish. So I was like, 
He just sat here and lied to me and said there was nobody in this apartment living with this woman but her. I didn't hear no woman in that apartment. Not even an old woman. All I heard was a man. So I come back into my apartment and I was super upset. And I had called my girlfriend to tell her about this. So I'm like, am I delusional? Am I hearing shit? Or does this woman have a man living up there with her? And he sound young. So I went up there again. And when I was going, I passed her door and I heard the same voice again. And when I went to the elevator, it was a boy that was looking upset, standing by the elevator, looking like he was waiting for the elevator when he wasn't. So I went in the elevator, went back, back down to my apartment. So about a couple of hours later, it's like close to 10 o'clock at night and I'm hearing footsteps again. So I'm like, this, this security guard really got me feeling like I'm being delusional. Like I'm hearing shit. And I'm like, am I going crazy? I'm not going crazy. And I'm asking myself this over and over. And I'm asking my girlfriend, I'm like, am I going crazy? Do you think I'm going crazy? She was like, no, you're not going crazy. She said, you hear it and I hear it. Even she heard it. So I go and I'm like, okay, I'm going to show proof that I'm not being delusional and that there is somebody up there. And I was like, what if this woman is hiding her son or a man in that apartment and they didn't want the security guards to know because that could happen too. He, for all we know, he could be hiding in the bathroom. He could be hiding in the next room and he will wait until the close is clear. So now since we're in a new week, I'm going to go down there to the security office and I'm going to talk to him about the shells and I'm going to let him know, like for y'all to be sitting here lying to me in my face about there's nobody up there and there is y'all could all get in trouble and I could take them to court and sue them for letting people harassing me or letting people making all these noise disturbing my peace and I'm following the rules and the policy of this lease saying that you have the right to have your own peace in in your home and live peacefully and then we have this rule that you cannot make any type of noise whatsoever, whether it's banging, playing music, whatever, after nine o'clock at night. Now, let me let y'all know something and let y'all know the reason why I'm going through this. And I say what I said, I'm making complaints. It's because I suffer from migraines and I have psychedelic seizures. So I'm sensitive to light and sound. And any sound that's a loud boom or anything like that causes me to have migraines and it causes me to have a seizure. I had over three, four seizures in the last two years due to noise because I cannot take a certain amount of noise that's being played, whether it's music or people dragging stuff. And I catch migraines so easily. So I try my best to be patient and breathe and relax. Sometimes I even try to ignore it. So I had to put my earphones on. And to calm myself in order to not go to the hospital because this type of stuff doesn't um, like bring me to the hospital. Any any type of noise, whatever, it causes my headache. My headaches would be so bad to the point I would have to go to the hospital. So once again, I hear the noise today and today is Sunday, but it stopped. And... I just sat here and proved them wrong. And I was like, yo, there is somebody up there. And sometimes I'd be wishing I could have somebody help me with this because I'd be asking for help. I'm like, what should I do? What can I do? And how can I take this to the judge without looking stupid? And then they talk about, it's a matter of show, um, showing proof. So basically what my property manager is saying is that for us to have proof that this is going on, I will have to record the noise coming from that apartment. And I'm like, first of all, my phone does not pick up noise coming from apartments above me because <clears throat> I don't have a microphone. My microphone is not that like great. On this phone, a phone microphone is different from a microphone you can attach to your device in order to hear clearly. My phone does not pick up those type of noises. I try to do it, you can barely hear it. So same thing with my bedroom i went in my bedroom and i was trying to you know just relax whatever chill out and the noise from this door you could hear it and i was like well damn i wish i could do the same thing from above so long story short i just hate the fact that 
I'm the only one that knows about this. I'm the only one that can hear it and go through this shit and nobody else hear it. And then what frustrates me the most is that these security guards think if you, they could hear, they, they think that they could hear these noise coming from the hallway when you cannot hear it. You cannot hear somebody banging anything coming from the hallway. You have to be in the apartment to hear so for me to get some type of help from this property manager, I would have to threaten her to take her to court. And when I put that message on her voicemail, she called me and she was telling me, well, since to prevent all this from continuing happening, I'm going to move you to another apartment across the street. And then on top of that, it wasn't even a, the same type of apartment I have now, like a one bedroom. It's a studio. So I'm like, you want to downgrade me from a one bedroom to a studio just so I won't have to hear no noise. And it was so fucked up because she know I have all this stuff in my apartment. I have a lot of stuff in my apartment. And I told her I refuse to live in a small cramped apartment with no bedrooms, no closets. where And then just supposed to be like, oh, okay, I'm, I'm okay with that. No. So I told her. No, I don't want to move there. I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to wait. And then on top of that, she was like, for me to, if I move over there, that means I'm going to have to get off the list of moving to this new apartment that I have across the street that I was already on the list for. And I waited three years for this. So she tells me I'm going to have to wait three to five years to go into a new apartment if I wanted to stay, if, if I wanted to move into the studio. So I say, hell no. I decided to stay here anyway. She said, if you could weigh it out, just try to ignore the noise. And I'm like, it's impossible to ignore it. So you tell me I'm just going to have to live with this and y'all can't do nothing about it. And I'm really pissed off about it even to this day because this is unfair to me. I have to live in agony while everybody gets to do what the hell they want to do. Now tell me, what should I do about that? And does that make any fucking sense?